So you can hold it like this and scan it, kind of like a pen or a pencil, but just a really oversized one. So, And then you have options if you push this button. You can message it, mail it, whatever, uh, copy it. Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at a really cool peripheral that you would want to have with you, especially if you're traveling or if you do a lot of documentation with different languages or anything like that because this is a really cool scanning pin that does translations and scans at the same time. So this is the World Pin Scan X. Yeah, that's one big word, but that is what it's called. And it says scan on the go, translate immediately. iOS, Android, Mac and Windows, so any of the machines uh, that you want to utilize this on, you can do it. There should be a program or support software out there for you. This is from Pen Power, and this again is the World Pin Scan X. A little bit on the back of the box here, as you can see. This is Bluetooth wireless connection instantly ready when powered on. Recognize multiple languages, barcodes, and bank fonts. So it's got English, Japanese, Korean, French, German, Italian, Spanish, traditional Chinese, simplified Chinese, traditional Chinese Hong Kong, Arabic, Vietnamese, and other languages on mobile devices. Not only support multiple languages, but also recognize barcodes and bank fonts. So this is OCRA, OCRB, MICR, and uh, that is it, and then is on PCs as well. Immediately translate and edit in multiple applications. So some pretty cool stuff here, and we're going to put it to a little test. Here's some more spec system requirements. If you want to pause this and look at it, whatever system you plan on running it on, and it will run on just about anything. So let's go ahead and open it up, take a look at the actual product, and then we're going to put it through some paces here, have it do a little translation. So you get a USB, micro USB cable here to hook it up to a Mac or a PC. Get an instruction manual and some software for looks like uh, well, probably Mac or PC, if not both, all on one disc. And then the pin itself, we can get it out of the box. Go ahead and chuck that to the side. So here is the pin, maybe. Try to get it out of here without uh, making it flip onto the ground. There we go. All right, so here is the World Pin Scan X. So basically, there's a little bit of a scanner here. Well, actually, yeah, that is the way you scan it. There's your little reel and then a little scan. This back here is where you can plug it in and uh, utilize it and charge it hook it up to a PC or Mac. You've got a power button and I believe probably your scan button right here where you push and you can scan and it has a little illumination LED to let you know. It's also got a nice little rubber grip here so you can hold it like this and scan it kind of like a pen or a pencil but just a really oversized one. So anyway guys we're going to set this up we're going to come back and we're going to take a look at it and see what this offers and how it works. We'll be right back. Alright guys, welcome back. So we've got the World Pen Scan X all charged up. We've downloaded the iOS app. As you can see, it's called the same thing in the App Store, World Pen Scan X. Again, you can get this for Android, you can get this for your Mac, you can get this for your PC. You can use this just about anywhere. So what we've gone ahead and done is we have printed out, and if you're fluent with foreign languages, maybe you can read some of them. Pay attention to that bottom one. Yep. We've all had that pain before, at least here in the States. No offense to anybody. So, this converts from many different languages. So the very top part, I've got in English here, is basically what that is in Spanish, in Arabic, and then in French, and then also Chinese. And then a little special message down here on the bottom one. So what we're going to do is let's go ahead and scan the text here and we're going to see how it does. So we'll go into the app and what we're going to do is we're going to say translate because we want to know what this says. So we're going to do translator. Okay, so let's go ahead and set the phone right here. Add a little weight. So all we do for the pen, this is our scanning in. So we're going to go ahead and line up our little scan window right here where there's a little arrow. You can see best of your ability. Now this blue light just means this is connected and it's waiting uh, to do something. It's connected to the phone and it's been 
there. So let's go ahead and scan in. Oh, let's do the Chinese one. All right. So we've scanned it. We should see it come across the phone. And this actually, whoops. So one bad thing we got to do here is we've got to go and we've got to select. Now I had it on Spanish to English, so it didn't make any sense of that. So let's go ahead and change that. So we actually want Chinese traditional to English. Now it might make a little more sense when I scan this. So a good example of how not to do it. Alright, now it's going to scan it, it's going to put it in here, and it read the Chinese and it translated it, and then we can actually speak it. How you nap today? Where is the bathroom? Well, it almost got it. Where you nap today? No, it's how are you today? So, you know, there's a little bit of flaws here and there, but that's basically what it's supposed to say up at the bo up at the top. Again, it's kind of cool because it'll speak it. How you nap today? Where is the bathroom? So, let's do the French version. So we'll go back into translator, and we're going to say we want French to English. Let's see if it does any better doing the French one. Now, this one's a little longer, too, so we're going to put it to a little more of a test here. We put it down, we get the green light, and we scan. Hopefully not too fast. Okay. See if it did this one. There's the French. And uh, it says, Read, how are you today? Where is the bathroom? Read, how are you today? Where is the bathroom? So it didn't quite do that one 100%. I'm doing this behind the camera. When I was not doing it behind the camera, I had a lot more luck. Let's go ahead and do these. Spanish. Now stay tuned. I'm going to do the bottom one because I'm sure you're all, unless you read Arabic, want to know what that says. So we're going to do the Spanish to English. Let's go ahead and set that down. Let's see if we can get one of these 100%. Try to get this right, position perfectly. Try to go slow enough. Oh, I think, no, no, we didn't get one. Pretty close. Hello, how are you today? Edwin Day is the bathroom. Well, you know, behind the camera, it's it's not as easy. So let's go ahead and let's do that bottom line because obviously it's going to be tough to do. We're going to do Arabic to English. And wow, this is a longer one, so let's see if we can get this one right. Let's put it over here. Maybe I'm starting a little too far to the right. All right, we scanned it, see what we get. I have been sent to you for tech support. I do not understand a word I say, Osteba. Well, again, it missed the bottom or the last part of it. So, you know, hey, we tried. Uh, behind the camera, not working real great. Now, there are settings here for this. You can do Google Online Translator, uh, Badu Online Translator, image quality. We've only got it set to fair, so you know maybe that's part of it. You can set this up if you're a lefty. You can do left to right, right-handed, left to right, right left-handed, and right to left, left-hand. Uh, pronounce after scanning, recognize Hong Kong characters, sort the order. You can log into Dropbox. You can export this. You can dictionary, now you can buy ad additional dictionaries, and it'll give you definitions of words. Uh, of course, you got translation data input, you got next line insert. So, you know, this is like a full fledged OCR scan app. Uh, so, it's pretty cool. If you go into more apps here, uh, they do offer several more apps you can uh, buy on the App Store and that kind of stuff. So, um, pretty cool. Let's do look at one other thing here. So, here's actually your dictionary. So if you scan the word, let's just say this is English to Chinese traditional. Let's see if we can do the English up here and see what we get. Now yeah, we didn't do the whole line, but let's see what we got. Hi. So as you can see, it's doing a little bit of a translation in the dictionary form. It says hi, abbreviation Hawaii, abbreviation. So it's, it's kind of doing as a dictionary. So that's kind of cool. And we can go ahead and continue on the path here. Uh, maybe I cleared it. 
So basic vocabulary, default online dictionary, all that good stuff there. So you've got those features and then you just got data input. So this is if you just want to scan something. You're not doing any translation. You're just wanting to take some text and scan it and be able to maybe email it, text it, whatever. So let's just go ahead and scan this French line here. See if that got it. Um, not quite, but again, pretty close. I think we only missed the middle one here. So, not bad, and then you can speak it. Salut, comment vasta ajad, we osay true vain less toilets. And then you have options if you push this button. You can message it, mail it, whatever, uh, copy it, tweet it. Facebook it, just about everything you'd want to do that you've scanned this. Now, that's a pretty cool feature uh, in its own right that you are able to just kind of scan some text. Say you wanted uh, to scan a document or some information and send it to somebody. You could do that. You could email it out. You could text it, tweet it, whatever you want. So pretty cool uh, options with the World Pen Scan X. Check the links in the show notes where you can pick this up. Uh, this is a pretty cool and very useful device, especially if you travel abroad or you deal with different foreign language documents or interpretations, uh, that kind of stuff. If you've got a manual, say you ordered a product from overseas and it didn't have any English instructions, here you go. This is the perfect tool to just decipher that and figure out, hey, how do I install this? How do I set this up? Because I don't have any English instructions. Or vice versa, maybe you ordered something from the States, it came over, we didn't have some kind of translation or uh, instructions except in English. You can scan this and convert it to any of those languages that we've mentioned. And if you look at the list, it's a pretty lengthy list of languages that it's going to support. So if I go back into the world bin and I do translate, look at the options here. So you got all these different options. Croatian, Czech, Danish, Dutch, Finnish. German, Greek, Hungarian, Indonesian, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Polish, I'm skipping a few, Russian, Slavic, Swedish, Turkish, Vietnamese, Albanian, all sorts of things, Bosnian, so many different languages you can convert stuff from and to. So that's a pretty darn cool tool. Again, if you want to look at this, check the show notes for a link. I'll have a little more information in it. One really cool tool to have with you when you're traveling or you're working and trying to interpret different languages. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and a subscription to the channel. As always, guys, thanks for watching and have a good one.